on Bondi Rescue. Hard to tell yet, man, but uh, I think they got someone on the back of the stage. No pulse. Lungs full of water. Get down there, man. Run! 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 Clinically dead for minutes. The lifeguard's most desperate resuscitation. You know, we've got 40,000 people down here to take care of. We've got a million things going on. And all of a sudden, at the drop of a hat. You get caught to a situation and you're not really knowing what's going to happen when you get there. Probably the worst thing is when you get there and they're, they're blue and they're spewing out water and they've got no pulse, they're not breathing, they're fully unconscious. It's worst case scenario for a lifeguard. They are actually dead. Probably only got about five minutes to be brought back to life. Your adrenaline just rushes through your body. At the same time, you're trying to think, OK, well, I need to stay calm and relaxed. Where they're giving the person their last chance. When you do lose someone, you, you start to blame yourself. Like, did I do this right? Did I do that wrong? But then, you know, if you get them back, it's probably one of the most satisfying things you can do in life. It's a classic summer's day. Sun, sand and surf at their best. The only people on edge are Bondi's lifeguards. Yeah, I just got here this morning and I was surprised. Yeah, it's 11 o'clock and it's high tide and the, the swell is still pretty solid. And there's big surges up the beach. You can see some of the stuff just got washed away. The roof's going to start pulling soon. Tide going out, a lot of people, they all don't mix, so... Hey, you know, we're going to be pretty stretched. I actually got an extra guy in today, I got Chapo to come back as up, so well, hopefully we don't get too many casualties, but yeah, it's got the making of a busy afternoon. Bondi's rips become more dangerous with the falling tide. You going or you not going? Mate, I'm going to give him a little bit of more all over him. He just got in. In big surf, swimmers can disappear in seconds, but beachgoers ignore repeated warnings. I'm going to f***ing blow up on these guys. Get out of the Water. I told you guys already, Jack. What if we let you back down now? What's going to happen? So why don't you, as a group, go to the flag? You can't swim, that's a problem. Oh, I just told you guys to go swim between the flags. Hey, you think it's funny? It's not funny. We don't want to risk our lives to save kids. Adding to the chaos, busloads of tourists unload onto the beach. Some are cautious, others throw caution to the wind. <laughs> Go up and swim between the flags. Conditions are too dangerous today. Don't be stupid idiots. Walk straight in. Just go up and swim between the flags. Anticipating trouble, team leader Kerbox deploys the jet ski. Yeah, done, dude, mate. You got it. Oh, mate, you're definitely going to get it, guys. Done on his head now. At South End, two swimmers are caught in a raging rip. Battered by waves. Hey, Terry, off the back of the berg, mate. Off the back of iceberg. Dunno barely makes headway. The jet ski finally reaches them between waves. That's a good rescue, Terry. Very good rescue. Terry drops off the man on a sandbank. Then his partner. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. The boys are running in. It's not a deep river. No, it's not a deep river. Right. Yeah, I'm so sorry. That's all right. Oh. Okay, good afternoon, Maxine. Mm -hmm. It was the first swim at Bondi for this German tourist and her Dutch boyfriend. Extremely dangerous down here, OK? Yeah. You need to swim in the red and yellow flags. You came, honestly, you came. That far from dying, man. Believe me. Hello, okay. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, hold on to you. Central, we're in down the backpackers. Further up the beach, Maxi heads out to a second rescue. A surfer has gone to the aid of two girls, but loses hold in the churning water. The two German backpackers have been swept more than 100 metres from the beach. Come on, quick, quick. One of you get up. 
But a double rescue in these conditions is almost impossible for one lifeguard. Max is getting smashed out there. In seconds, the girls lurch from sheer terror to sheer joy. Back in safe water, they're surprisingly reluctant to end the rescue. What's that rescue, man? You didn't even get on the board, you still got around. <laughs> 4 p.m. With the tide at dead low, Bondi's rips are lethal. It's like a river down there. Even the shortest swim can go very wrong. Let it be a lesson. Sometimes it can be too late. Oh, mate, these rips are fanging. Now, even swimming between the flags becomes dangerous. With the beach at its busiest, lifeguards decide to launch a second jet ski. Then, a distressed man runs to the tower. Something is happening between the flags. Central jet ski, can you go in the middle of the flags? We've got a, someone waving middle of the flags. Copy, mate. See a big group of them? Middle of the main set now. Quick, get there. Um, do you want us to meet them on the shore? Yeah, mate, you're going to have to get there. Chapo and Kalen are half a kilometre away at South End. Speak to us, Donna. Middle of the main set, blue jet ski, get there. Hard to tell yet, man, but uh, I think they've got someone on the back of the ski. Um, yeah, I think you're going to need a DQ base. Yeah, we're on the side of it. Just move on. There's someone on with him. Head's on with him. I'm just going to keep going until you get this ready. Just keep going. Okay. I'm just going until. Pulses as well. Embo being called. Embo being called. Let's get the defib. No. Maybe we need someone to come up and get a defib. The defib is in the tower, but Dunno can't leave the control post unmanned. The defib is vital. Dunstan has no choice but to enlist a passing backpacker. Oi, guys, guys, you do me a massive favour, man. Green shorts. Oi, man, you need to run this down. Oi, 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 buddy. Do us a massive favour, man. You need to run that down yes. to the other side of the flag. <laughs> See that flag, flag down there? Someone's just drowned. Get down there. I need go, go. I need go. I promise, I promise. Get down there, man. Run, run. <laughs> oi, run. Run, man. We need to get him up in the dry sand. I'm coming to the third round now. Where's that deep in? We need He's now been clinically dead for three minutes. 21, 22. Keep going, Chapo. Someone give Chapo a break. Yeah, I'll come in, I'll come in. Come on, wait, wait, wait. Right out, let's go. Get out of the way. You need to get him in. 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 Get him in.
It's now four minutes since the man was first discovered. No one knows how long he was under the water before then. It's critical that no one touches the man's body while it is shot. I know you can't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. You'll get electrocuted. Someone to go breathing. If needed, begin CPR. Has he got a pulse? I've got a pulse. I have a pulse. I have a pulse. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's breathe with him. Breathe with him. I've got a pulse. I've got a pulse. Breathe him up. Breathe him up. We've got a pulse. Yeah, no, we're going to breathe him up. He's all right, mate. We got him. We got him, mate. Keep breathing him up. Good pulse, Shaffer. It's all right. Continue. Let's just breathe him up, okay? Breathe him up. Thanks, mate. We're going to breathe him up. Just breathe him up. He'll go with his breath. Over there, Jonathan. His name is Ryan Kim, 26, a student from Korea. Yeah, let's try him on his side on three. One, One two, two, three. Let's see if we can clear his airway. Give him a better. Yeah. See if he wants to bob it. Yeah. Take the good airway now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. If he doesn't, That's it. He's got a lot of fluid coming out now. That's what we want to do. That's good. That's it. Let's keep him. Let's just keep backing him up. He's got a good, good, yeah. Okay, there's, good. there's a lot of fluid coming out. That's good. Try backpacking. Let's get out a little bit more. But lifeguards work doesn't let up. Swimmers are now in trouble at South Bondi. We need someone down there. Essential to one of the boys doing the resus. Do you think he might have hit his head on the bottom? No. Can he swim? No. no. He's coming around, but a bit more oxygen, okay? He's getting a lot more colour in his face. Then, only minutes after being brought back to life. You all right, mate? Hey, 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 still needs urgent medical care. Good. We've done a good job. Well done, boys. Close friend Dan is by his side. All right, mate. You're all right. Hey, guys. How long till we go to? Probably about maybe four sets of CPR. Four yeah. out, five, maybe. So yeah, they want CPR? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Precaution still needs to be taken in case of other injuries. Grabbing this spinal wood so I can carry him off. Good work done, huh? <laughs> With water in his lungs, Ryan is still at risk of cardiac arrest and secondary drowning. come flying in and I just see this body, gangly body being dragged up the beach and I'm like, F One of the first to reach Ryan was former lifeguard Matt Cahoon. Yeah, I was just out body surfing and a whole lot of kids had their yeah, they're doing the right thing. I sent Matt over on the board, he's whacked a breath into him. Maxie on the jet ski came across. I jumped on the back of the jet ski, he was gone, he was vomiting up, his eyes were rolling. Someone handed him his arm, pulled him up by myself, dragged him up and um, one of the swimmers out there was the next lifeguard, and I said, mate, get on and, like, you know, start, start compressing. Took him straight in. To be honest, I thought he was um, gone. When we got down there, and I, looked, I sort of was straight on the head, and I looked straight down into his eyes, and it just looked ugly. Like, it looked like a deep black hole, and I was like, oh, this isn't going to end well. 
But even before Ryan reaches hospital, the day's drama is far from over. I reckon he was in the flag and he's dripped. No, actually, there was about that, there was about... Oh, Maxie's right behind him. Maxie, get out there. Can you tell the truth? Maxie passes Reedy, the last rescue victim of the day. This time, a drowning averted. At St Vincent's emergency, Ryan is still in critical condition. Paramedics brief doctors. Drag to the beach. The lifeguards put a automated defibrillator on so they didn't shock him. As we're coming in, he's complaining of neck pain. You know what that is? Dan is eager for news. Um, he was very, very badly hurt in the, in the water. His lungs were full of water. So we have had to put a tube down his throat and a machine is ventilating him. In his stomach as well, a lot of water. About We had about half a litre of water in there. You want to see him? Yeah. He's very lucky. Very lucky to be alive. CPR started straight away, and that's what was needed. Instant, early, effective CPR. And the guys at the beach have saved his life. The boys did extremely well over here, so... Um... Thanks for the support, boys, and um, you know I think we'll need it. We're going to have a couple more days like today, I reckon. On Bondi, life returns to its more familiar patterns. A week after Ryan Kim was brought back to life, first aid expert Jamie Twy holds a debrief session. It's the first time I've seen this, so let's let's have a look. Wait, bring him up, boy. The guy is so blue. Obviously, no no spinal precautions taken here. But listen, your priority. The guy is blue. He's not breathing. He's, he's a drowning victim. You need to get him out the beach and start working on it. There's a lot of water coming out of him now. At this stage, I would have rolled him and, and tried got some water out of him. Okay. Yeah. So here, right? We stop here. We stop here. He's starting to breathe. He's starting to breathe. He's starting to respond to that CPR. As they fine-tune their skills, Hoppo arrives with a dead man walking. Uh, he's still unconscious. He still doesn't have a gag reflex. OK, so... Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, you look a little, little bit different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of food coming out. Do you want to watch this from the start? <laughs> yes? Yeah? yeah? OK. All right. Here you are. Get him out of the water, get him out of the water, get him out of the water. 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 Get him out of the I see him in the sea, yeah, yeah. then big waves cover me. My body is turned over in the sea, yeah. so yeah. I drank too much, too much water. sea. Salt water. Yeah, yeah, salty water. I can see him, so I tried, I tried that, but and another, another wife here. maybe uh, three times. Yeah. I I give it, keep keep up. I fall in water. Oh, above yeah. your head, yep. Yeah. yeah, everything is so comfortable. And, and then I think, oh, it's die, it's, it's die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm very scared. I'm and then scared. my memory is slowly, slowly shut down. Yeah. First, I wake, wake, wake him up. Yes. Uh, I hold crap. Yeah. Oh, really? You remember? Yeah. It's a very major. You don't want to do You don't want to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you smile. Thank you very much. It's pretty special to, to meet the guy and just to see him walking around. It's good. It's uh, it's a good feeling. I, it's just wine oh, <laughs> for you. Oh, we love wine. Thank you very much. You know, the fact that you brought something back to life and I was about to contribute to that. You know, I feel really good. He's in his mid twenties. A life expensive another sixty years. You know, so 
and he sees another beautiful day.